chapter 3, lesson 3, is solving word problems. So again, since it's word problems, that means it's the last lesson of the chapter, which means we need to remember what we have learned in the past few years as well as what we learned in the last module. So the bar models are important. Now, since uh, the topic is on ratio, that means that the most important of the bar models is technically the compare models for multiplication and division. Okay, but it's not to say that you won't need the other models. Okay, so um, for this lesson, I will be doing three different problems from page 87, 93, and 100. Okay, so starting with page 87, this is problem number two. Okay. So in problem number two, it says, Mr. Raja spent five times as much money as Mr. Hamid. Okay, so that's five times as many. That's compare and that's multiplication, compare. So Mr. Raja and Mr. Hamid. So Mr. Raja is five times. So one, one, two, three. Okay, so um, my, my drawing is not the best, but you want to make sure that these are all the same so that it registers in the brain cells. Okay, so then it says Mr. Raja spent 948 more dollars than Mr. Hamid. So that means this right here in total is $948. Okay. So the questions are in letter A, what is the ratio of the amount of money Mr. Raja spent to the amount of money that to the amount of money that Mr. Hamid spent to the amount of total money they spent? Okay, so which means we're comparing three things. Mr. Raja Mr. Hamid, and the total. Okay, so since ratios are supposed to be in reduced form, we don't really need to know the total value of that. We just need to know the number of units. So Mr. Raja has five units. Mr. Hamid has one. The total is six units. So our ratio for the spending of Mr. Raja to the amount spent by Mr. Hamid to the total amount they spent is 5 is to 1 is to 6. Okay, moving on to B, it says, What fraction of the total money they spent is the money spent by Mr. Raja? Okay, so that means we're looking for a fraction of Mr. Raja to total. Okay, so which means Mr. Raja is... 5, and the total is 6. Six. So that means Mr. Raja spent 5 sixth of the total. Okay, so and in letter C, it says how much did Mr. Raja spend and how much did Mr. Hamid spend? So we want to know how much each one spent. Okay, so which means we know that one, two, three, four units is equal to 948. Okay, which means one unit must equal to 948 divided by 4. Okay, which means if we want Mr. Raja, Mr. Raja has five units. Oops, this is, sorry. That, if we divide, should be 237. Okay, so again, let me backtrack. That's 237. So if we want Mr. Raja, okay, Mr. Raja will be 5 units times $237 per unit. Okay, which means if we multiply that out, that should be 1,185. Okay, so again, the kids are allowed to use calculators. 
However, for this particular problem, there's no calculator picture. So that means they have to compute manually. So uh, don't allow the kids to take the easy way out. If they have to solve manually, they need to solve manually. Okay, so which means Mr. Uh, Hamid has one unit. So 1 times 237 is... 237. Now, if you wish to check if you got it right, the way to check is to take Mr. Hamid's minus Mr. Raja, put it in the calc because that's not required. You're just checking. It should give us 948. Continuing on to page 93, problem 5a reads, Nadim had some local and foreign stamps. The ratio of the local stamps to the number of foreign stamps was 3 is to 4. Okay, so we have local stamp and foreign stamp. 3 is to 4. Okay. So then it says, um, she gave away 28 foreign stamps and the ratio of the number of local stamps to the number of foreign stamps became 9 is to 8. Okay, so this is before. Okay, so again, the book offers a bar model. Okay, but again, if you look at the bar model as a whole, it's hard to understand unless it's explained properly. So hopefully, I'll be able to explain properly. Okay, so what happens is some of the foreign stamps, 28 to be exact, was given away, which means the local stamps stayed the same. Okay, so this is after. Okay, so this is local stamps. Okay, however, when it stayed the same, here the ratio is 3 is to 4. Here, the ratio will be now 9 is to 8. So, if the ratio is to be 9 is to 8, that means this little these three little boxes must be now divided into 9 smaller boxes. And for that to happen, each box must be divided by 3. So if we divide, 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 that's now 9, which means if we did that to the local stamps, we should do it as well to the foreign stamps. Okay, so if we do foreign stamps, okay, this time I'm gonna divide. Okay, so this is 3, this is 3, this is 3, this is 3. Okay, but supposed to be only eight units will be left from the foreign stamp. So that means this bar right here, this part, is what's given away. And that happens to be 28. So if you'll notice, this is 3, 6, 7, 8. And that would make it 9 is to 8. Okay, so which means we know that the four units must be equal to the 28. Okay, so in letter A, we should be able to answer how many local stamps did Nadim have? Okay, so that means this is the question. But that value and this value are the same. So to find that, we take 28 divided by 4, which means each unit is 7. Okay, so which means if we want this, that will be 9 times 7. So local stamps must equal to 9 times 7, which is 63. Okay, then in letter B, it says how many foreign stamps did Nadim have in the end? So in the end, the number of foreign stamps would be 8 times 7, which is 56. And to confirm if we got our answer correctly, what we do is we take the original foreign stamps, which is technically 3, 6, 9, 12. 
This is a check. 12 times 7. And then we subtract the 28. We should get the 56. So if you put that in your calculator, you should get 56. And finally, looking at page 100, it says, Felicity had some teddy bears and dolls. The number of teddy bears was three-fifths the number of dolls. Okay, so three-fifths means the ratio is three is to five. So I'll just start with that. Teddy bears and then dolls. Three. Okay, then it says she bought 35 more of each type of toy. After that, the number of teddy bears was four fifth the number of dolls. Okay, so um, in the book, they have a before and then we have a after. Okay, so again, both of these will have 35 added to it. So right now, the ratio is 3 is to 5. But when we add 35 to each, the ratio now becomes 4 is to 5. So that means this is 4 is to 5 when we add. Okay, so that means this is teddy bear and this is D. So I'm going to draw first. Okay, and again, I don't know how long it is, but now what will happen is the new ratio, if I add the same amount, the new ratio will be 4 is to 5. Okay, so which means if this is 35 and this is 35, because we're adding 35 of each. Okay, so if those are 35, that means the 35 can only be divided by 5 or by 7. So if we divide it by 5 units, that means the 3 plus the, the 3 plus the 5. So I'll put it here, 3 plus 5. And then this will be 5 plus another 5. Okay, will become 8 is to 10 which means that's the one that we want. Because again, if we try the other, if we divide this into seven groups, then that means that will be three plus seven is two, five plus seven, which makes that 10 is to 12, which is not four is to five. So which means we need to be able to divide this into five, Parts. So, if we divide the 35 into 5 parts, I'm going to put it here so that it doesn't screw up our drawing here. So, this is 35 divided by 5. That means each unit must be 7. So, that's 7. Okay, so if I put the 5 plus the 3, and the question is how many teddy bears and dolls did she have all together that means we're looking for all of those that's the question okay so which means since each box is seven that means eight times seven must be 56 so again eight times seven is 56 so again as much as i like to draw this division into here I didn't draw it to scale, so it's hard to be able to draw a bar model to scale from scratch. So, but if I drew it based on what was in the book, it's hard to understand the drawing in the book, so I had to take it by piece. So, again, I have to make sure that the 35 can be divided by either a 5 or a 7. If I divide by 5, and add it to the existing number of boxes, then that's the one that will give me the correct ratio of 4 is to 5. Again, parents and kids, the word problems are hard. Okay, so, but with lots of practice, it's just like a sport, with lots of practice, you'll get really good at it. So please solve and solve and solve until you get it. 
That concludes lesson 3 of chapter 3 and which concludes the chapter which means I'll see you in the next